Hello everybody, Tegan here with High Point. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we have the ZWO Camera Angle Adjuster, or the CAA for short. Today's video, we're gonna dive deep into the ZWO CAA, see what it is, how it works, how to set it up, and how it's going to streamline your astrophotography experience. Let's get to it. So the ZWO camera angle adjuster is an electronic rotator that allows you to frame your deep sky targets with incredible precision. So for those of you who are imaging large celestial objects like M31 and or working across multiple nights, having the ability to rotate your imaging train to any orientation is a huge time saver. The CAA is nicely machined with ZWO's signature red anodized finish, so it comes as no surprise that ZWO produced another durable yet sleek aesthetic design. All right, so now let's talk specifications and details. The camera angle adjuster offers a rotation speed of 7.5 degrees per second with a minimum step size of just 0.02 degrees. This level of precision ensures that the smallest adjustments can be made and the most precise framing of your target is possible. It's designed with 54 millimeter threads on the telescope side, but if needed, you can adapt it to M48 threads using the included M54 to M48 adapter. At just 16.5 millimeters thick, the camera angle adjuster is designed to replace your current 16.5 millimeter adapter, which is commonly used in most imaging setups. This makes it easy to achieve the standard 55 millimeter of back focus that most corrective optics require. As for connectivity, the CAA includes a USB-C port for computer control, as well as a hand controller port, which provides flexibility for how you actually control the device. Now, the camera angle adjuster can carry up to about four kilograms or 8.8, .8, almost nine pounds of payload, which offers up a wide variety of different setups. Now, the cameras that the CAA are really designed for, being the 2600 Duo cameras, the 2600 MCA, and the 6200, these all lie easily within that eight pound payload. So in this section of the video, we're gonna be talking about some challenges and things to consider when installing the CAA. If you want to incorporate the camera angle adjuster with an off axis guider and a filter wheel in your imaging train, you may have to use a telescope like an SCT or an RC that doesn't use corrective optics like a coma corrector or a field flattener. If you want to use the OAG and all these accessories in conjunction, these telescopes may work, but you may have a problem when it comes to triplet refractors or non pets file refractors. Given that most corrective optics nowadays require 55 millimeters of back focus, OAGs and the CAA both sit at 16.5 millimeters of spacing, so you may need to choose which of those that you're going to integrate into your imaging train. If you have a wide field refractor, an off-axis guider really isn't necessary, so the camera angle adjuster should be fine. Additionally, if you have one of the duo cameras like the 2600 MC Air like I will be using later in this video, it has an included off-axis guider and guide camera integrated inside the camera itself, so the OAG problem becomes a non-issue. All of that being said, if you take a look in the description below, you will find a link to an article written by one of our very own Edward. If you remember Edward, he had put together that incredible video and guide on the ASI Air Plus. The article in the link below is going to go into detail about using the CAA with different camera combinations and accessory combinations. It's going to go into great detail and it's going to be constantly updated as we get new equipment in from ZWO. Again, this article is important for those who are looking to combine the camera angle adjustment with other accessories in your imaging train. Now, with all of that out of the way, let's take a look at what I'm going to be using for testing the CAA and how we're gonna be setting it up. For my test, I will be running the Aperture 90 APO, the Aperture Dedicated 0.8 Reducer, the Optolong L Para Filter, and the ZWO 2600 MC Air. This will all sit on top of the mighty ZWO AM5. The l para filter threads directly into the threads of the 0.8 reducer, and the ZWO CAA threads right onto the back of that reducer. Be sure to reference the arrows on the bottom of the CAA to ensure correct orientation. Again, I removed the 16.5 millimeter adapter that I typically use since we currently have the CAA to take its place. Here, I only have the 21 millimeter adapter. This adapter plus the 16.5 millimeter length of the CAA plus the inset distance of the camera sensor equals 55 millimeters, which is standard for the aperture point at reducer and most other reducers as well. Next, I'm gonna show you how to connect the CAA to the ASI Air or the MC Air. You can easily connect to the CAA to the MC Air from inside the app. 
First, select the CAA icon at the top, choose CAA from the drop-down menu, and click Connect. Like all other ZWO accessories, connecting it through the app is as intuitive as ever. Once you connect to the camera, be sure to enable guide calibration rotation if your guide camera rotates with the rotator. The MC Air does have a built-in guide camera, so as the rotator rotates, if I decide to change targets in the middle of the night and I decide to frame that target differently, then I'm going to need the guide calibrations to rotate as well with the guide camera. After connected, you can scroll to the bottom of that page and manually rotate it in any orientation as well just to check for cable snags that may occur in the night. Now it's time to get everything set up under the night sky. Once you're out in the field and your mount's polar aligned, everything is prepped for your imaging session, you can adjust the desired rotation in the Sky Atlas to frame your target in your desired orientation. After you found your target, manually use the slider bar to adjust the orientation of your framing to exactly how you want it. After that, hit the go to button and your mount will slew to the target and rotate automatically to match your desired frame. Tonight we'll be shooting the Rosette Nebula. All right, everybody, so that is our video on the camera angle adjuster from ZWO. It's precision, it's simplicity, and it's seamless integration into the ecosystem of ZWO cameras and accessories makes this the ultimate tool for any astrophotographer's toolkit. Whether your goal is to photograph large nebula or maybe it's simply to just get out there every night under the night sky, the CAA from ZWO is going to ensure that you get the perfect framing from night to night. If you have any questions at all, let us know in the comments below and we will be more than happy to assist. Additionally, we have provided a link in the description that takes you directly to the CAA webpage where it is available for order. Now with all that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future content and product reviews just like this one. Now let's take a look at the Rosette Nebula. Thank you.